Good afternoon. Could you put me into ALS 1, please? Let's see. When I got out of the service, I was just kind of kicking around for a couple of years. A lot of jobs, a little college. And my sister's a nurse at the time at the Deaconess, and she mentioned something about being an EMT. And I was in the service, so I was in an airborne unit, so I that'd be kind of cool. And I uh, got my EMT, started working for uh, Himalaya SA back in 94, I think it was. And uh, worked there a couple years, got my basic, then uh, intermediate, got my medic, and uh, always wanted to work here. So while you work in the city, this was the job you wanted. And, uh, so I had the opportunity to interview right after, about a year after I got out of medic school. And I know a lot of the guys that had worked here because I had been working, you know, the city for all that time and seen a lot of a lot of the guys that worked here and worked with a few of them that got, you know, hired here and managed to get on. It was uh, November of 2000 when I got hired. And uh, it's been great ever since. Five, I'm out as well. Four, you're responding priority two for a 37 year old male with shortness of breath. Uh, I have to say, I got a great deal of respect for everybody that works here. So I think the people that work here are wired differently than uh, the other EMS systems. Because we, we come here and, and we do a lot of calls as opposed to, say, a service where you'll do three or four in a 24 hours. So, and here you, you're going to work. And I think that's why people like coming here because you, you become a very good medic when you work in a place like this.